All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, it's the eve of the end of days because we've got a bit of a heat wave coming. And uh, I know people will be like, you shouldn't downplay it, blah, 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 blah. I know, I know. Just be a bit safe, be a bit sensible, use some common sense, and you'll be absolutely fine. Anyway. I've realised I've not got a bottle opener and I'm not wearing any pants, so I'm not standing up. Although that would disappoint quite a few people watching, I'm sure it would. Anyway, so, because it is a bit of a sweltering evening, um, I thought, you know what, I'll crack open a lager. And this one I already had uh, when I was in London and uh, went to Pizza Pilgrims in Exmouth Market. I think they've got places around the UK. And uh, one of the lagers there, which was recommended by uh, Chiara, if that's how that's pronounced, do apologize. Um, I said I'd give them a bit of a, a review online, which I will do, but in the meantime, a bit, bit of a shout out to uh, Pizza Pilgrims, really good pizza. And the lager that they had, or one of them, was this, which is the, is that pronounced Ichnusa or Ichnusa? I'm not too sure. Non, non filtrata. And uh, this is a Italian lager from the island of Sardinia, which is the island that um, the lady in Pete's Pilgrims was from. And she was very proud of this beer and uh, she recommended it, thought I'd give it a try. Complimented the pizza perfectly, so I thought, you know what? I'll pick myself up a bottle of it. And I like the artwork to it, and I like the style of the bottle. So it's unfiltered, so Untapped has it classed as a spickle slash land beer slash keller beer slash basically unfiltered lager, to be honest. So yeah, let's see what we get. Slowly starting to get back into the swing of things of uh, reviewing beers and because as I said in uh, the last couple of videos I've uploaded not really touched that much alcohol um, To be honest Not for any like specific reason just you know, and you just feel like I can't be asked Anyway, so Definitely an unfiltered lager It's almost like got that amber hue to it with just shy of two fingers worth of a nice slightly off white head nice compact bubbles and uh, yeah certainly look it I mean look at that little bits and bobs so it looks hearty so let's see what we'll get on the nose and it's got that sweet musky earthy sort of aroma to it it's definitely got a bit of oomph there's very subtle, sort of like pepperiness, very subtle though. But yeah, it's it's got this perfect balance of earthy and sweet, and it doesn't drift off too much in either direction. There's like a subtle hint of like a citrusy aroma coming through as well. But yeah, nice and bready, I would say. So without any further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. And that, that's it in the spot. And not just because it's, I think it's at the moment around 27, 28 degrees, which I know isn't in the grand scheme of things, massively hot. Um, I mean, for the UK, it kind of is, even at that temperature, really. You know, where the whole country comes to a standstill. But anyway. God, people aren't going to be happy that I'm downplaying this, like, weather warning that we've had. But, you know, I don't care. Just be safe. Keep hydrated. And look after, you know, your vulnerable neighbours, friends and family. I mean, of course, there's like the, the danger of like travel because, um, you know, train lines are going to buckle, even though they're like 
painting them white to deflect the heat and you know on a bus is going to be absolute wank let's be honest but um, yeah just keep your curtains closed keep yourself nice and cool <coughs> hydrated and don't be don't use this as, as an excuse I mean you can because it's a free country but you know just because it's really nice and warm doesn't mean you should just sit outside and day drink as great as that is just be careful really that's all you can do don't go swimming in like a quarry do you know what I mean it's like these simple common sense things where when weather gets like this just common sense just completely it must evaporate in the heat but anyway, mini rant over, let's carry on with the beer. It's got a nice, bold, smooth mouthfeel. Although it is a little bit heavier um, in terms of mouthfeel, uh, ABV on this is, doesn't seem to say, 5% on the nose. And sometimes with these unfiltered lagers and sickles and Keller beers, they can, you know, rest a little heavy on the gut. But this, it's still, it's bold and flavoursome and robust. But at the same time, it's just so crisp and refreshing. It's beyond bready. Sort of like a sourdough pizza crust. I mean, this this complements. This will complement any food, really. Um, but there's something about this, and it just worked beautifully with the pizza that I had. And I think this will just per perfectly with a nice, freshly baked pizza. So if you've got a pizza pilgrims nearby. Um, which again, highly recommended. It's really good pizza, really good. It didn't go for me usual like meaty and do your paste um, one. It was like a, it was a smoked sausage with um, a very specific herb that I can't remember what it was. It wasn't just like basil, and it, I'm sure it had like a bit of like a white sauce. It was just really good. It just something a little bit different, but the smoked sausage, man. Chef's kiss to a T. And yeah, that, that's absolutely lovely. It really, really is. So I'm not sure what like the availability is of this online. I'd imagine so. You should be able to pick it up. Maybe something like Beers of Europe might stock it. Um, but yeah, it's just something a little bit different um, and you know Italians make really good lagers they really really even like Birra Moretti for me is a good premium lager uh, I don't know it's Mad Madri's not Italian is it that's like um, where's that from that's been that's a massive beer now isn't it it's everywhere don't know why I brought up Madri. Um I mean obviously this knocks the socks off shit like Peroni um, although the Peroni with the red label is really good like proper Peroni not the always overpriced and very cheap tasting <laughs> Peroni you get uh, mainly in the UK and pubs here in the UK um, I'm trying to think of other beers from Italy I can't it's too warm and I'm an idiot I think it's more of me being an idiot as opposed to the heat effect in my brain function. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just love the the artwork on it. Then you've got a nice um, sort of photo. Is it a photo or an illustration? I'm not too sure. But yeah, lovely stuff indeed. Highly recommended. And uh, should have picked up a few bottles of it because I don't think it was even that badly priced even buying directly from like a, a restaurant so if you see it pick yourself up a few bottles of it it's really nice really really nice and it, it's definitely I mean Ed, most beers will pair well with food if you go out for, for a meal nine times out of ten you're having a beer with your meal aren't you uh, if you're into beer or maybe a nice sort of like cocktail long drink or soft drink but 
there's just something about it that I think definitely complements food. But as I said, most beverages complement food anyway. Do you know what I mean? So it's a bit of a redundant statement. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Thumbnail's going to be absolutely crap because most of it's gone. But um, yeah, lovely stuff. There's just something a little bit different about it. And you get that a lot with these sort of like Keller unfiltered style lagers. Because obviously it seems to like pack more flavouring because not, nothing's been taken out because all of that's in there. But um, yeah, really good, really good. Almost has like a sight. Um, it's a... It's a Keller beer, but then again, it's Keller beer just because it's unfiltered. Do you know what I mean? Because there's almost like a slight hint of a, um, what's it called? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Like a Vienna style lager. So it's like an unfiltered Vienna lager for me. Um, and yeah, from the island of Sardinia where they grow sardines so there you go fun fact of the day and a very shit joke anyway if you've tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below if you've tried any others from this brewery or what's some of your favorite italian breweries and beers and um yeah let me know in the comments links in the description and of course if you're in exmouth market um go to Mikola brew pub fantastic place um bought some really nice beers while i was there and then topped it off with a really gorgeous pizza and a nice Italian lager. I'm a man of simple tastes. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling. So cheers for watching. You all take care, stay safe, be sensible in the sun. And like I said, if you've got any sort of like vulnerable family members and stuff, because those people will suffer. Um, and also don't leave your dog in the car. Um, which I, I've, I've seen, like, the police have, like, now issued a, a statement where if you see a dog in a car and the windows aren't open, before you smash the windows open, take a photo and then smash the windows open. So, you know. And while you're at it, smash the dog owner in the face. And especially those who take the dogs out when the ground's going to be absolutely boiling. But we all know that, anyway. And also, if you're going for a walk and you're having a cig, don't throw your cigarette in the, the bushes or the grass, because that's how forest fires start. So that's your public service uh, warning. Public service warning? I don't know. What am I talking about? Maybe the summer has got to me. I've, I've only been out of the house for like about 10 minutes to, to get some cigs, but... It is what it is, isn't it? Fantastic. Lovely stuff. See you guys later. Bye.